good morning. So we're off to CrossFit now. So a 30 minute bus journey and then we'll check in at CrossFit and then see what's going on there. So bus journey done and now we're walking, sometimes running to CrossFit. Um, it's about 30 minutes before what the lesson is and CrossFit is quite high intensity compound exercises with various weights, kettlebells and other things. So as it's about 30 minutes prior, what I typically do is stop my insulin or reduce it by a lot. I reduce it by at least 50% to 80%. It all depends on what exercises are gonna be done. But always there's a, a high intensity part and that really crushes my um, blood sugar at the start and then towards the middle of the class, which is about 30 minutes in, um, it stabilizes, which hopefully you'll see today. It will do what it's supposed to do, and then I can show you. Um, I'm gonna be filming the class, um, so enjoy. So that was uh, the first CrossFit done for three months since this, um, since the lockdown started and it felt good. Um, so what I did before I started, I paused my insulin. Um, as you will see throughout the hour, it then started to, to rise uh, and we'll cover why that happens actually. Um, sometimes it can dip, but the reason I pause is so I don't go into a hypo hypo state while exercising or training I would prefer it if it went up and then I can correct but just a note when correcting uh, I become super sensitive to insulin and it reacts really quickly beach doing some filming for some other people who are doing paddleboard. So yeah, this is fun. Uh, I won't be doing it. 